Good afternoon, folks. This is Long Shot here with another review. Today, I am delectably, deliciously happy to bring to you the um, very great diorama, the sideshow Captain America vs. Red Skull. This, these two characters, anybody that knows me knows that I'm a huge Marvel fan, but the Captain and Red Skull, and particularly I'm close with and relate to because they are both highly trained military tacticians which I'm a big fan of, and um, to actually put both of these characters in the same diorama makes me salivate uncontrollably, and it's just it probably, my, it, it is one of the best quality dioramas you're going to see out there. Now, right over here, uh, we have the very first uh, Silver Age appearance of Captain America in the Avengers number four. Now. This is where Captain America thaws out. He's still alive. Um, people are surprised. Very similar to, no, that's exactly what they did in um, Captain America, the first Avenger from 2012. But the comic where the battle of the diorama actually took place is in Tales of Suspense number 80. Displayed here, you can see the, the, Captain America is having a very difficult time fighting the Red Skull. And at the end of this comic book, uh, Red Skull actually comes out on top, unlike the display here in the diorama where Captain America seems to have the position of advantage. Uh, the actual end of this book shows Red Skull in this book alone coming out on top. So this is an iconic cover of him holding the Cosmic Cube and Captain America fighting him as only he can. Now here's the actual diorama itself. The diorama, there's no shortcuts here, guys. This is one solid piece. The only thing that comes off is this is the exclusive, which means nothing to me because I still have the regular hand displayed, and that's the, the Luger. I have something I like about the uh, classic German Luger. And uh, the exclusive is him holding the Cosmic Cube, which in every Red Skull statue, it's usually, you know, it's always it's re too redundant for me. But let me give you a close-up look at this. This is actually one solid piece. It's the only piece that comes off as the Luger. Let's just kind of pan around. Here's the back of it. it. Shows a lot of, you know, victims, very, you know, a lot of skulls. And this is Red Skull's diorama. This is kind of like a staircase from, like, I don't know, from, like, the World War, like some like ancient bunker. So it has, um, right over here, has the torches that are actually made out of metal. The chains over here where the Red Skull is bracing himself, those are also made out of metal. Uh, the wood looks like real wood. It's just a delicious piece from soup to nuts, and it's just one giant chunk. This thing weighs about 10 pounds. It's great in case you have some sort of intruder, and you wish you would like to embed this into his face. Try that, explain that to the local police department, why Captain America's shield is stuck in the person's head. Let me give a close-up over here. Captain America, though, I must say he's a little out of character here because he's so enraged. He's usually pretty much in control of everything that he does, but the Red Skull has a way of really getting to him. It's just... So it, it it's a little out of character, so that's my only critique about the statue, is that the you know, Captain America really wouldn't be this angry. Um, but the Red Skull is a one of the – he was on the top 100 uh, most uh, worst villains list. This diorama is, is, is just fantastic. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, the, the costume, everything is sculpted, but it looks like real cloth. You know, and like I said, to have both of these characters in the same diorama, this is going right up there with the rest of my Captain America Red Skull stuff. This is the piece that actually completes my entire collection of having everything Captain America and Red Skull. So now I am missing absolutely nothing. So I am very happy to have this piece. I was took a very long time to find it at a good price, so I had to abide my time before I could strike. So thank you so much for being supportive, folks. Uh, this is Long Shot here. That's going to be it today for me. Uh, please sub me and please comment. I would love to know what you think of this review and this uh, piece because I could not be happier. Thank you so much. Have a great day.